we're back at the vet. It's been five weeks since Cole's fourth rubella shot. This is his fifth, I think, if I'm counting right. Here at the lovely vet clinic out of Kempville. Cole, what are you eating? Cole's eating garbage after garbage. No, we're not eating someone else's cookies. Come on. Anyways, well, yet you guys all know how it goes. He's doing pretty good. He's a little weaker. He needs his paw pads put back on. Um, he's been slipping a little bit, but he's not in too much pain. Look, he's doing still really good. Anyways, we'll keep you guys updated. We'll tell you how it goes. We didn't want to get you. You can't even wait. So Cole just had his fifth labella shot. He did really well. Um, he took it like a champ. He wanted to leave though right away. He was like, I'm done. Let me out of here. Let's go for my pup cup. Um, Cole's been doing really well on his shot. I haven't seen any bad things with Labrella yet. I've had people comment on this channel that they've heard some rumors about stroke-like symptoms, things like that. I don't know. Cole's had five of them. He can't take Medicam. He can't take Abapentin. Um, you know, we've tried lots of glucosamine. I think we probably could try the chiropractor or the physiotherapist, but I still don't think it's enough. So we're going to go with this for now. Uh, we may add on some physiotherapy and or chiropractor and try that see if that gives him a bit more relief or maybe more strength in his back legs um because that's what happens as the shot wears out his back legs get a little more he slips a bit more um if he and ember are being crazy when we get home we have to be careful because he jumps on her and then she jumps on him i mean and then he falls and his back legs fall out from underneath him and stuff like that but uh else than that he is pain free he's doing really well um the vet tech was just telling me the same problem i have with my sticky feet they come off when it's wet so she uses socks just on the back feet with rubber things in the house um when it's wet out and when it's dry she puts the sticky pads on so i'm gonna try it's really nice today and i'm hoping for the next few days i'm gonna check the weather if it's not gonna rain i'm gonna put a sticky pads back on and see how long they last with no snow and no wet um except for the backyard is like a mud pile not a mud pile, but it's very wet and muddy out there uh, just because all the snow is melting. So they may not last when he goes out in the backyard, but we'll give it another shot. And uh, Cole, do not drink my drink. Thank you. Here, keep looking yours. Anyway, so far, Lobrella is doing really well for Cole. We're going to keep doing it as long as we can. Cole is just about 12 and a half, and we're very lucky to have him. Um, Springer, it's 12 to 14 years. You know, he's at his end. His mother only lived till she was nine. So Cole has suppressed that. My other Springer's, you know, 12, 13. I think we might have had one 14, but, you know, he is doing well. And we're just going to keep him pain free and happy for however long we have him. And so far, this is what we're going to do. Maybe we'll add a few other little things, but uh, hopefully he can continue this way and uh, everything will be good. We'll give you a little shot of maybe them playing when he's. Got his shot in him for a few days and he's feeling good, eh, bud? We'll see you or we'll do a different video. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Bye.